Hi guys, it's Gary Wong from GaryWongRealty.com. Uh, today I'm here uh, with top real estate photographer Vincent Lee from iShot.ca. Hi everybody. I've worked with Vincent Lee for a long time. He shoots a lot of my listings, uh, actually all my listings. Uh, Vincent has uh, over six years of professional real estate photography experience. He works with developers, realtors, clients, and he's shot hundreds of homes. And um, yeah, like he's a top-notch photographer. Um, and today we just want to give a brief overview and uh, you know answer a, a common question in the real estate industry. You know, Vincent, like I hear all the time from my clients. You know why real estate photographer? What what's the difference? Like I can just take the pictures myself with a DSLR. Yeah, you're very right. Absolutely. So so thanks for having me. And and you're true. Everybody can grab a DSLR today. The camera is you know it's easy. It's not very expensive anymore like it was before. Mm -hmm. So anybody could buy a camera and come in and take some photos. But one big difference between hiring a professional photographer or, or a professional real estate photographer versus shooting yourself mm -hmm. is that we we create a feeling to a specific photo or, or to a specific space that most other beginning photographers cannot do. Okay, like what do you mean by uh, a feeling? So we, we try to showcase the, the photos of your home like as if you were there, immerse your like the immersed the viewers in the in the in the space that they're looking online, they're looking at or they're looking to buy. Oh, okay, I yeah. see. I see. You know, like just like how Starbucks creates an emotion where you feel comfortable in that. Like in your photography, you want to create an emotion where people look at it and they have an attachment to it, and they 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 can actually visualize themselves there. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. And now that creates more interest and they make them want to come see your place. And and how do you usually do that with your real estate photography? Yeah, so it's for one of the, the, the crucial things that we do is composition. The composition of the, the picture itself is very, very important. So by choosing the right perspective, right composition of the photograph, you create a specific feel uh, like if you were there. And if you don't choose your composition properly, you might not show the space properly. And uh, one big mistake uh, that that a beginner photographer would do is perhaps they will have the camera too high or the camera too low. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't show it properly. And the, the, uh, the, the lines are not straight, the vertical lines are not straight. Mm -hmm. So these are just some of the minor things or the, some of the things that we do to make sure that all the composition is done properly mm -hmm. to create that feel as if you were there. Like if you, as if you walked into a room, this is what you see. So it's just the composition? No, not just, not just the composition. So composition okay. is a very important part. Mm -hmm. Another mm -hmm. part that is very important is the lighting. Okay. So the camera doesn't see how our human eyes see. So the camera actually sees either too bright or too dark or nothing mm -hmm. really in between. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we set up multiple lights, multiple strobes to create that, that proper lighting to capture the space as if our eyes were seeing it. Okay, so some areas are not dark and some areas are bright. It'd be more like mixed in and blended so it's more natural. Definitely. So like one of the most common mistakes that you see today, when you take a photo of a living room, for example, you have a really bright window and then you get everything else is too dark inside. So that's how the camera sees. So how do we correct that? We correct that by introducing a lot more lights mm -hmm. to light up the interiors and to make sure all the windows, all the beautiful views on the windows are there and your beautiful furniture are there. Mm -hmm. And so if you, uh, as a professional photographer, professional real estate photographer, that's the main thing that we do. We, we, make, we capture the light and the feel of this, of the space. Okay, so composition, lighting, and... And there's one more final thing that's very important in today's uh, digital photography field is uh, we post-product the photos. So we set up the proper composition, we pick the proper composition, we set up the proper lights for the, yeah. for the shot, and then finally we're on the, you know, we're post-product, post-produce the picture, to put everything together. We, we, we white balance the photos so it looks like you were there. The mm -hmm. lights are not too yellow or too white or too blue. Everything mm -hmm. is corrected properly. So the color correction and of course we fix up the blemishes like cords or, or any blemishes on the carpet, stains or anything like that. We fix all that up. Mm, great, great. Well, uh, you know, guys, I hope you learned a lot today just like I did. So the three reasons why uh, real estate photography is important, post-production, lighting, and composition. Uh, I'm here with top photographer, real estate photographer, Vincent Lee. I'm Gary Wong from GaryWongRealty.com. If you want any for, in, more information, 
Vincent Lee can be found at iShot.ca, information below. Subscribe below and comment and let me know if you have any questions and I guess I'll see you next time. See you soon.